Hi there, this is Nicole Lopez, Community Coordinator of Aspire Technologies, the developer of QuoteWorks. Today I'm going to show you how to download a new quote layout, then implement it into QuoteWorks, insert your company logo, and change the color scheme and font. From the email you received, you want to go ahead and click here on Download New Layout, which will take you to the layout page on the QuoteWorks website. This is the layout page on the QuoteWorks website, which you can come back to at any time by going to the download page and choosing more layouts. Here are the different layout options that are available to you to download from our website. Right here is the latest layout we have posted on our website. To see a PDF preview of this layout with sample data, you can click here on See Full Size PDF, which will show you exactly what the quote layout will look like. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click here on download this layout file. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Click OK. I'm going to right click and open containing folder. And I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. If you do have QuoteWorks running at this time, I want to make sure and exit out of that at this time. And now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the QuoteWorks folder. Yours could be on your local machine or it could be on your server. Once I locate the QuoteWorks folder, I'm going to go ahead and look for the Layouts folder. Once you find your Layouts folder, you want to double click on there. Now I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to right click and go to Copy, come back to the Layout folder, right click and select Paste. Next thing I'm going to, go to do is going to go ahead and launch QuoteWorks. And once I launch QuoteWorks to see my layouts, I'm going to click here on Print. And here is my new layout. To make sure that's my new layout, I'm just going to click here on Preview, and there it is. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a copy of it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Clone, and give it a new name, and click OK. Now I'm going to take that one that I just created a clone of, and click on Edit. This is going to bring out my layout designer. First thing I want to do is replace the logo, so I'm just going to click on the logo, and simply press Delete on my keyboard. Then I'm going to go to the Insert menu, click on Picture, and look for my company logo. You can either use a bitmap or you can use a JPEG. And select the logo, click on Open, and click to drop it in. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit the font. Let's go ahead and click on any label. Go ahead and right click and go to Font. Or you can always click on the Font button on the menu bar. From here, you can change the font. You can change the style, you can change the size, and you can even change the color. Once you're finished with that, you want to click OK. To change the color scheme, it's going to go ahead and click on the color. You can go right click and choose background color, or you can click on the color button on the menu bar. From here, go ahead and click on color. And from here, you'll be able to select a new color. Once you do that, it's going to click OK and click OK and now we have new color. You can change all these blues at the same time by clicking and holding down control on your keyboard. I'm just going to go ahead and click everything that has blue while holding down control on my keyboard. Once I selected all of them, I'm just going to click on color, click on color, select my color, click OK and OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and save and close and go ahead and preview and here is my new quote layout with my new logo and new color scheme and font. To learn more about editing quote layouts you can go to our website and watch our tutorial videos or you can always call us at 407-248-1481. Thank you for watching and have a great day.